All right. Welcome back to Northwest Home Value. Thank you for watching. This is the channel where we help you increase your home value, sell your home for more money using my real estate insider tips, DIY projects and home hacks, things that are fun to do, make your house worth more money. That's what Northwest Home Value is all about. Today, we're talking about the top 10 ways to sell your home for more money. And there's a million different videos and articles all about this. I've got my 10 years experience. These are the things that are most important, if you ask me, to get your house ready to sell and to get you the highest selling price. So I'm going to go through them. Let me jump back here to the blog post. You can find it at northwesthomelistings.com slash blog. Sell your home for more money. Number 10, clean your house, right? Clean and staged house sells. We want it to smell good, look clean when people walk in. Now, staging is not utmost important at every property. But we need to be either staged, nice and clean, looking good, or empty and clean. There's not really any in between that because if we've got too much clutter, things going on in the house, or it's confusing whether or not somebody lives there, it just gets distracting and it doesn't present itself as well. So clean and staged, super important. Smell clean, look re move in ready, uh, and not be all full of clutter. All right, number nine pre-inspection for buyers. Now you're going, well, what? I thought the buyer just did their own inspection. Well, if you want to get the highest selling price and it's a competitive market, you want to encourage multiple offers, do a pre-inspection. Hire an inspector on your own terms. Probably costs you about $500. They'll go through the entire house and give you a bullet list of everything that a buyer's inspector would find, but you'll find it first. And that allows you to fix those items on your own terms with your contractors and not being held over a barrel by some buyer who's already got a contract with you. And also allows you to price your home appropriately for what's there. The other great thing about a pre-inspection is you are allowed to make that available for potential buyers. So what we do is we'll, we'll make that available. We'll let them know we can upload it to a cloud location like in the MLS or on a Google Drive. So that potential buyers and their agents could access that report. And they may be so comfortable with the house that their price increases, their offer for your home is higher. And they end up waiving more contingencies. So this works out very well for you, the pre-inspection, the seller pre-inspection that's available for buyers. Smells and sounds. This kind of goes back to number 10, right? We want to have great smells and sounds in the house. When it walk in, it should smell clean. I like the smell of fresh paint, carpet, bleach, all these things go, yeah, we took the time to get our house ready for sale. We care about our home. Um, I mean, elbow grease and paint are like the number one and two return on investment things for selling your home. So get in there, make it smell good. And the sounds, right? We could have a, a white noise machine or some soft music. Talk to your agent, get their expert opinion on, on what that environment, what that ambiance should be like when we come in the house because it's, it's like the old head and shoulders commercial, right? You never get a second chance to make a first impression. Mega open houses. This has been a trend about over the last five years when you see those tall open house uh, banners and signs everywhere. And some of it gets a little crazy, but it is important to have a really good open house. And it doesn't always mean extravagant uh, signs and banners, but it does mean extravagant marketing. Now, online, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, blasting it socially to get people to attend the open house. We bring the masses and that allows us to expose your home to the largest pool of buyers and in turn get you the highest offer. Number six, the sparkling bathrooms. Okay, we're kind of going back through the same clean smells, sounds, all that. The bathrooms are super important for a couple of reasons. One, nothing turns somebody off more than a filthy bathroom, okay? We got to have a clean bathroom to where you would be willing to look behind the toilet and wipe the baseboards, okay? Um, the other thing is, Potential buyers and their agents might need to go to the bathroom when they're in your home. So we make sure it has toilet paper, soap, towels, sanitizer, all the things that would make someone feel comfortable in the home so they feel like, I could see myself going to the bathroom here for a long, long time. <laughs> so the bathrooms are important. Highlighting the features and the silent talkers. Silent talkers is a real estate term and it means the little signs so that when I see that and I go, appliances included, uh, um, fenced backyard, things that we may not notice or um, RV parking just at first glance. So we highlight those features with the silent talkers. We place them around the house. We make sure that we have a list of highlights and all those signs come the day we drop off the flyers and the sign and get the house ready to list. 
a cozy space that's on number four it's great to have a, a good feeling space where a buyer could imagine themselves relaxing in the house right reading a book or watching tv playing games the kids can play here whatever it may be different properties different houses have a different way to kind of stage this area definitely create some kind of cozy space a warmth to the home makes for a warmer showing and a better feeling as they walk through the kitchen right a lot of houses the deal is made or broken on the kitchen in the master bathroom so make sure that kitchen is welcoming it's probably the first place they're going to go after they come through the front door right beeline for the kitchen let's check it out so it should be clean just like the bathroom is willing to wipe your hand right across the counter and every there's no dust everything's wiped down clean it smells good um, there's not business cards all over the counter from agents that have passed through those should be tucked away by your agent uh, all this stuff should be making the kitchen feel inviting as well as uh, this is a good time to present them with some of the highlight uh, sheet, the bullet points of the highlight features, the silent talker signs that we made so that they know these are the items we're looking for as we go through the home. We won't miss that and we'll start building value right away. Let's talk about the walk up. Okay, number two and number one. These are super important. It's the back to the head and shoulders. Never get a second chance to make a first impression. You've got to have an awesome walk up and a wow factor when they come through the front door because before they get to that kitchen, they're stopping, they're taking off their shoes, they're spending some time in the entryway, place where you probably don't spend any time. You don't, you come right through there, you take it for granted, you just drop your stuff, hang up your keys, whatever. These people are going to spend a couple minutes, it's going to be their first 30 seconds to one minute in your house. So make the entryway welcoming and have some kind of wow factor there wow they thought of this for us wow the sanitizer is right here wow it's warm in here wow it smells good wow there's a lot of people that have been through this house things like that where we start to build value we leverage a little bit people are impressed and of course number one way to sell your home for more money awesome curb appeal there's i can't tell you how many times where we have a great property but the curb appeal may not be good enough because we spent so much time inside, we didn't think, or maybe it was the season. This can happen a lot in, in the Seattle area, in Washington, where it's raining. Really difficult to spruce up your exterior. We've got to take those extra steps, whether it be hiring a professional that knows how to tent up and paint, or getting out there in the mud and raking and picking up those leaves when you really don't want to. Going and getting a load of bark and spreading it around around the front. Pressure washing. All these things, we've got to make it so that, hey, easy to park uh flowers no dead flowers no dead trees nothing dead in the yard it's better empty covered with bark right so we got to have awesome curb appeal so when we pull up we know this is the house we know we're at the right place it looks like they're gone they're ready to sell awesome curb appeal it's the number one way to sell your home for more money you got to get them in the front door these are my best tips i know there's plenty more and there's other ways to to get more money for your house and we'll go over that in other videos as far as leveraging and contracts but for things that you can do on your own diy projects this is your bullet list for fixing up your house and increasing its value preston calshin realtor here northwest home value thanks so much for watching can't wait to see you next time